Hi guys, today we're making salmon pancakes with leftover salmon. It's a quick dish, great way to use up leftovers. Let's get straight into it. Okay, right, we're gonna start off with our batter. So I'm just gonna get my big bowl here. Right, we're gonna start with three tablespoons of plain flour. And as usual, we're just gonna sift it into our mix, into our bowl, just to avoid any lumps. You don't want like a big lump of flour in your pancake. Right, so once your flour is sifted in there nicely, we're gonna go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now what this does, it just gives the whole recipe a lift and just makes those pancakes nice and light and fluffy. Season our flour with salt, pepper, one egg, and we're just gonna whisk our ingredients in until we've got the right consistency. And as it starts to get a little bit dry like this, you go ahead and add couple of tablespoons of water, loosen it up a little bit. You can add two eggs if you wanted to, but I just prefer it with one, I think it's a little bit lighter. Right, that's looking beautiful. There's not a single lump in there because we've sifted that flour. It's the perfect texture and you want it, you want it running off just slightly like that. Right, let's add our other ingredients. Okay, we're gonna go straight in with some spring onion and some chopped red bell pepper. Let's go in with a couple of tablespoons of canned sweet corn, which has been drained. Right, I'm just going to leave this to one side for just a second while I get my salmon ready. So I've got half a standard salmon fillet here, which has been roasted yesterday, last night, for dinner, and this is leftover. And I'm just going to kind of break it up. So we've got like shredded salmon. Right, our salmon is being shredded nicely. This is going to go straight into our batter. Already this is looking really good. Okay, this is looking wonderful. I'm just going to add a touch of Cajun and everyone knows I love Cajun spice. I just think it gives a kick to everything. And this is quite savory with some peppers and sweet corn and stuff in there already. So this is gonna go really well. Right, so then just fold everything together, make sure everything's combined nicely. Right, my batter is done, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna place some oil on my pan, get this heated, and then we're gonna go in. Right, olive oil in the pan, just to coat it. Be quite generous, because you want these to char nicely. Right, we're going to go straight in with our pancakes and I'm just going to place them in a little mold like that, tap them down and they're going to be nice and rustic and beautiful. Just put them around the pan clockwise so you know which way to flip them afterwards. So I've got about another two in the bowl, we'll stick with four for now and then I'll, I'll flip them and add a bit more afterwards. Right, I'm just going to let them do their thing. The aroma in here is amazing. It's a great way to use up like leftover pork, leftover chicken, leftover steak, you know, to make them into these little pancake fritter things. Outstanding. Okay, these are going to take about another two minutes per side. While they're doing their thing, I'm going to go ahead and make my dressing. Just a little sauce for us to dip these in. And we're going to go in with two tablespoons of mayonnaise, or, sorry, half a teaspoon of uh, Dijon mustard, it's quite strong so you don't need too much of that. Complements the salmon really well though. Touch of salt, generous pinch of pepper, good squeeze of fresh lemon juice, give it all a good stir. Right, and 30 seconds and we've got a beautiful sauce for our salmon pancakes. Wonderful. Okay, so now that these are pretty much almost cooked and the pan is at a reasonable temperature, I think I can make space for my last fritter. Right, I think we're ready for a flip now. So nice and confident, just flip over like so, and there you have it, perfect. If you look at that one, nice bit of crust developing and a beautiful bit of char. Right, let's see how this one's coming along. Yep, I think this one's ready for a, a nice flip as well. Beautiful, look at that. Right, these are looking perfect. I'm really happy with these. Outstanding, I'm really happy with these. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up. Right, I'm just gonna flake these up nice and rustic. Looking outstanding. So appetizing. Wonderful. Right, these are looking beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish with a touch of our lemon mayo that we made, a bit of mustard. Give everyone a little dollop of this. And right, then we're gonna garnish each one with a, just a touch of smoked salmon. And you just kinda of wanna fold it in. Right, then finally we've got some capers here. So each one's just gonna get one caper. 
just as a garnish and as a burst of freshness. These are drenched in vinegar, so they've got a lot of pop to them. A small baby basil leaf for each one. Right guys, there you have it. These are my salmon pancakes with leftover salmon made in 10 minutes. Outstanding. Right guys, I'm about to get stuck in. Before I do, I'd just like to say, if you enjoy my content, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We're releasing videos seven days a week. Hit that notification bell, that really helps us. And if you want me to try a specific recipe, put it in the comments below. I promise you I'll try my best. Anyway, enough talking, let's get stuck in. So this one's screaming out to me. Let's go straight in. So much texture from the green onions and peppers, the sweet corn. And that lemon mayo, outstanding. Sorry, that mustard mayo with the lemon and pepper, so good. It gives everything a pop. Obviously, the smoked salmon just gives it that mm, richness. Um, the, but the main thing is the batter. So the batter, because we put in hot, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, it just made everything light and airy. Right, these are decadent. They're light. They're fluffy. They're airy. They're vibrant. They're packed with flavour. Got everything going on. So happy with these, and it's all from just a touch, just a little bit of leftover salmon. Guys, make these at home, just like I've showed you. They're not just delicious, they're Sunny's effing delicious. Well happy with these, mate. Seriously, you're gonna devour these. 